hello and welcome to um, Gods and Monsters. Um, you have a little bit um, of how we came up with the concept of this program. We actually performed it last fall, live streamed it. Uh, Matthew, my good friend, is the professor at the Community College of Baltimore County and <laughs> our competitors. And uh, <laughs> he teaches piano and all kinds of things there. He's amazing. And so they had a recital series called Gods and Monsters. So we first performed that there. And this is kind of a pared down, uh, shorter version of that program that basically explores um, the subject matter of gods, goddesses, myths, creatures um, in classical music, okay? Um, like I said, this program was probably, um, there in the original program, there were about five or six more songs. It was about 80 minutes of music, maybe 70, 80. So this is about hopefully 50. Um, so the first thing I would like to say that is there, there's a correction on the program. At the end, um, uh, the, and I'll explain this too, the, the La Otra Note and the Danza Macabra are gonna be switched. And then at the end, that's not listed in the program, I will be performing two African-American spirituals at the end. It's not listed, but I will tell you the names of those before I perform them, okay? So the next piece of music is called Siche. Um, by Emile Paladier, and in your program notes, you have a little bit of a you know um, write up about the Greek legend that says that Cishe was a, was beautiful enough to make even Venus jealous. Venus is a goddess, obviously. Venus eventually ordered her son Cupid. We've all heard of Cupid uh, to shoot Cishe with one of his arrows because she was jealous in the hopes that she would fall in love with the strategically placed ugly beast. But when the time comes, Cupid is so struck by her beauty that he ends up shooting himself with his own arrow. So this is a seashell. Get myself to uh.
you. So, the next set of pieces are my German set. And if you see, we'll, I'll talk a little bit about them in one set so you can hear all of them and then you can clap after the, the fourth one, the Elkenig. So the first one is Elfenlied. It's the elf song by Hugo Wolf. It's about an elf. <laughs> um, and then after that is the song by Brahms called the Sandmächen, which is the Sandman. So these are all goblins. This is the goblin monster part of the program. Uh, the next one is Hexenlied, um, which is the witch, Hexen in German is witch, so it's the witch's song. And you can hear it, that in the music. And then the very last one is a very famous German song um, called Der Erlknich, the Elf King, or the Earl King. And um, there are two things I want you to kind of pay attention to in this song. Number one, well, first of all, in this whole set of music, well, in this whole, sh this whole recital, the importance of the piano and having a good pianist. <laughs> because this is incredibly difficult music to play on the piano, like even harder than singing it, I have to be honest. But especially the last two, the Hexenlied and the, the Erkenig, are very difficult to play on the piano. So, and the piano is also a big part of the character um, in telling the story. But the Erkenig is notoriously a difficult piece to sing and to play. Um, and also in the Erkenig, um, I'm supposed to be portraying three characters. So it might be interesting as if you can, if you can see which characters, which is the narrator, there's the father and the son. And so see if you can, it'll be a good challenge for myself as the singer to portray all these three characters, okay? So um, the first one is the elephant lead. And we will start. By Nacht im Dorf in Fischerreif, Elfe. Ein ganz kleines Erdchen in Wolde schlief, wohl nur die Elfe. Und mein Sein rief wie Maus dem Toll bei seinem Namen die Nachtigall oder Silbelet hört ihm gerufen. Breit sich die Augen und begibt sich vor sein Schneckenhaus und ist das wie ein Krückenmann. Sein Strecklein wacht ist vorgetan und hat jetzt auch so die Bitte, du Kasselhut in Tarenhof, schub an der Mann hin zu dich, du sitzt und leben nicht und lebt. Was sind diese Lebensstellen? Da drin wird eine Hochzeit sein, die Kleinen sind im Mann und Röhnen im Saal. Da kick ich's wohl ein wenig Bein. Hey, schuss den Kopf an einen Zinstein. Elfe geht, du hast genug.
The next piece um, is going to be the Danza Macabre, which is the Camille Saint Saison. Um, and you have the, <laughs> the translation. And I'll be very honest with you, it's always good as a learning experience. Um, this song is about three pages long, and it's not very high, and it's not very long, but it's very fast. <laughs> it's insanely fast. Um, and it's supposed to, of course, talk about the 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 dance of the dance, the devils of dance. So I hope you get that. So right after that, um, we'll be performing um, an aria from the opera Mephistopheli um, called La Tra Notte in Fondo al Mare. We chose this in the in the actual aria. She's not singing about the devil at all, but obviously Mephistopheli is the story of um, Faust. I don't know if you know that, but if you don't and you're a singer, or well, anybody, you should know the story of Faust. Um, it's a very dark um, story. The opera is by Arrigo Boito, who is, in my opinion, a very um, underestimated composer because he didn't really compose a lot. Most people know him because he was Giuseppe Verdi's main librettist. Um, he wrote the, the, the words, basically, to Verdi's, most of Verdi's operas. So he was more of a, he, people know him more from that. But he wrote um, about two or three operas. This one is his most famous, Mephistophele. Um, so before, so we're it's switched in your program. We will be performing the Danza Macabre first, and then so this is the devil portion. 
of the program, in case you're not, you know, I want you to be able to follow that. Work real hard putting that together.
uh, the last section of the program is the God part, uh, in the Christian God that we know of. Um, so the first uh, piece in this set will be the, it's on your program, the Ave Maria from Otello, which is the Verdi opera based on the Shakespearean play. Um, and in this uh, part of the opera, Desdemona um, uh, has basically been accused of cheating on Othello with, I forgot whom, to be quite honest, but um, she's about to die because um, he's going to come in and kill her. And she knows that. So actually right before she sings this prayer, she sings about um, a, a, a bird, a free bird, and being free. So, so she's singing to her maid, and it's basically a goodbye to her maid. So she, she sings that song. She says goodbye to her maid. And then she kneels down and she sings, uh, she prays Ave Maria. Um, and shortly after this, um, Otello comes in and kills her. So uh, the thing that I find most interesting about this piece is, um, and the way that Verdi said it, um, is that he, he adds a few, um, I don't know if, it, if for anybody who knows the Ave Maria, and if you can catch some of the things that he adds to it, um, uh, especially the emphasis on the, uh, the madre and the prega per noi, which means to pray for us all. So even in her lowest moment, she's still thinking about everybody she's going to leave behind um, and not really of herself. She's pretty much accepted her fate. Um, and, um, and to me, this is probably one of the most beautiful moments ever written in opera. So that's why I wanted to sing it. So I hope you enjoy it. Oh, and then after that, <laughs> we will sing two African American American spirituals, but I'll tell you about that in a sec.
The last two pieces are two African American spirituals. The first one is by um, arranged by Moses Hogan, who was a very famous uh, arranger, choir director of the Moses Hogan Chorale. We have time to do that next to. Um, and um, Moses Hogan was also a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant pianist. So you will hear a very traditional song, but you will hear some really great piano music coming from Matthew because Moses Hogan was a great um, pianist himself. So he always wanted to write something great like that. And then the last piece is a, another popular African-American spiritual called Ride On King Jesus, which is arranged by Hal Johnson, J-O-N, sorry, J-O-H. S O N, and you've probably heard or sung that one before too, but it's a solo arrangement of that. So the first one is He's Got the Whole World in His Hands.
king. The rivers Jordan he did cross. No man wants for he is king of kings. Lord of lords, oh Jesus Christ, the first and last. Oh, can Jesus rise in the middle of the air? Oh, he calls the saints from everywhere. Oh. Okay.